The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. John chapter 21 verses 15 to 19. When Jesus had revealed himself in his disciples and they had finished breakfast, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me more than this? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Feed my lambs. A second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know what I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was aggrieved because he said to him the third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Truly, truly, I say to you, when you were young, you fastened your own belt and walked where you would. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands, and another will fasten your belt for you, and carry out and carry you where you do not wish to go. This is said to show by what death he was to glorify God. And after this he said to him, Follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Welcome, today is the Friday of the seventh week of Easter, and we hear the conversation of Jesus and Simon Peter in our Gospel today. And I remember during one of the times where in the parish where I was working, I happened to visit the, the Sunday school and uh, I found their teacher whereby they were doing a short play uh, about the love of God and how God loves the children and God loves all of us. And the, this drama item whereby the children um, and uh, uh, picked and to, 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 to demonstrate this with the numbers which were um, like uh, three foot uh, high and uh, children, 11 children held these letters from one hand to the other and this uh, let us spell like dog loves you, D-O-G, dog loves you. Umbwa inakupenda, dog loves you. And uh, I loved that, I said, wow. Actually, it was supposed to be, to be read as God loves you, God loves you. But if you spell the word dog backward, actually what you get is God. But because these children did not know how to read, then for them it was a play and they, little did they know that they were displaying a wrong uh, message. We are taught that God is love in John, in 1 John uh, chapter 4 verse 16. His love is unconditional, without limit and everlasting. It is the beginning and the end. And it is the essence of Christianity. Love is the essence of Christianity. It draws us to the heart of God and it compels us to give to God our full allegiance and our very own lives. What can quench or extinguish this love? Certainly it is our own indifferences, it is our own disbelief, it is our own rejection of God or even His word. Jesus in today's Gospel asks Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Jesus sees to it that Peter may answer in the affirmative. These triple questions may be a reference to Peter's triple denial before the passion of Jesus, as if Christ were giving Peter a chance to make up for his earlier offense. In other words, Jesus is not discouraged of Peter's betrayal from building his church on him. It does not mean that Jesus, this does not mean that Jesus ignores the betrayal of Peter. And in fact, 
Jesus is very careful to give Peter a chance to nullify his own betrayal with three questions of love and making him more humble. In this sense, God uses even our past sins, He uses our past mistakes for our own good if we sincerely repent of them. The Lord calls us, even in our weaknesses and even in our own sins, to love Him above all else. A psychologist called Adrian Van Kem, in his book Dynamics of Spiritual Direction, explains how this works out. He writes, God can help us to make the best of the past so that nothing is wasted during our lives. During the years that we were perhaps not yet totally in line with our true self-direction, we have been gathering experiences, information, understanding, both of ourselves and of the secular society around us. God used that growing awareness to lean to this point of dissatisfaction and of the discernment of new and better possibilities of our lives. We should show our gratefulness and the trust in Him by not lamenting and even in our well wasting uh, the possibilities of today and even tomorrow. Nobody can change the past as such. We cannot do anything about yesterday. Everybody can change the impact of the past on the future. Today, the present moment and even tomorrow, we can change how the situations are. Even the negative experiences of the past can help us prevent similar mistakes in our new life direction. And therefore, don't so much cultivate or dwell on your past life, in your past mistakes. God is here and God loves you. And God wants to use you the way you are. You, you are past mistakes and the sins notwithstanding. Jesus wants to give you another chance so that you can nullify that which you did at that time. After Peter's three, the, answering these three questions, Jesus also says, Feed my lambs, tend my sheep, and feed my sheep. In other words, Peter asks to journey with each of the sheep. First, Jesus says, feed my lambs. You know, lambs are young ones of the sheep. A lamb is delicate, it is defenseless, and so it has to be fed and cared for like a baby. In other words, like Jesus, we have to guide and stimulate others in their faith helping them to reach the maturity God wants of them. Secondly, Jesus says, tend my sheep. When a lamb becomes a sheep, it can graze for food and also what the shepherd has to do is to tend the sheep and to take it and to take care that it doesn't stray from the group. In other words, following Jesus, we have to take care of other people. We can't leave other people behind. And through this question, do you love me? God presses us to an answer in our day-to-day -day living. Finally, Jesus says, feed my sheep. The sheep becomes old and weak, and so it must be kept healthy for its remaining years by the loving hands of the shepherd. In other words, Jesus is telling us to follow him unconditionally. Because like Peter, he calls you, he wants to know if you truly love him and he wants to give you a chance to cancel your past mistakes and sins. Let us pray today that he may give us the grace to follow and love him unconditionally like he himself loves us and wants us to follow him. May God bless you, may God encourage you, may God give you strength, may God hear your prayers that you are praying at this time at all corners of your life. May Lord favor you and grant you all that you need in this life. God bless you. Have a blessed day. And now I give you blessings. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless and protect you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.